Hey everybody, so on today's video, we're going to be covering one of the most interesting and mysterious Pokemon of them all, known for having an absurd amount of different forms, and one of the stars of the third Pokemon movie. It's also a Pokemon you don't see being used much in the games, but all that really means is that Unknown's potential has barely been touched upon, and that's exactly what we're going to be looking into. So, how good was Unknown actually? And in this video, we'll be covering these competitive formats. So most people seem to think that Unknown is one of the worst Pokemon to use in battle, when really there's so much more to it. Looking at Unknown stats, we see that they're... You know what, those stats are actually pretty f***ing terrible. But of course, stats don't want to make a Pokemon great. What makes them great is their movesets. And Unknown has one of the most diverse movesets of any Pokemon, being able to utilize almost every single type in the game, making it completely unpredictable. Unknown has about 16 different movesets to choose from, which is actually more than a lot of other Pokemon. The first moveset for Unknown is a Hidden Power Grass set. This is great to use against Water, Rock, and Ground types. Unfortunately, this set does struggle against Grass, Bug, and Steel types, but that's where Unknown's next set comes in. Unknown's Hidden Power Fire set will take care of any Grass, Bug, and Steel types, as well as Ice types, making a pretty solid set overall. Unfortunately, this set isn't great against Water types, but that's where Unknown's third moveset, Hidden Power Electric, comes in. Not only does the set take care of Water types, but it also beats out flying types as a bonus. The only real struggle with this set is it has no use against those pesky ground type Pokemon. But don't worry, as Unknown has a moveset just for that. Hidden Power Ice is an amazing set against ground, grass, flying, and even dragon type Pokemon, which is really useful to use against strong threats like Dragonite, Garchomp, and Pidgey. Hidden Power Psychic was probably my favorite set to use for Unknown. Not only is it great against fighting and poison types, but it also benefits from same type attack bonus, making the move a full 50% stronger than it already was. Now this set isn't for everybody as it's completely walled out by Unknown's biggest weakness, Dark types. Luckily, Unknown has not one, but two different sets to use for Dark type Pokemon. Either a Hidden Power Bug set, which along with Dark, is also great against Grass and Psychic types, as well as a Hidden Power Fighting set, which is great not only for Dark types, but also Normal, Steel, Rock, and Ice types. The only problem with both these sets is that they really struggle against Flying types. However, they're not a problem with Unknown's Hidden Power Rock set, which is great for countering Flying types, as well as Bug, Fire, and Ice types. I personally recommend the set against great threats like Mega Charizard Y, Volcarona, and Spinarak. And in case the opponent sees this set coming, and try to counter you with a Steel type, you can counter back with a Hidden Power Ground set, which take care of Steel, Rock, Electric, and Fire types, as well as Poison types as well. Just look out for Flying types though, to which you can easily counter with Hidden Power Electric. Wait, have I already mentioned this set? I have? Well that's not a problem because you also have the options for a Hidden Power Water set to combat Fire, Ground and Rock types, Hidden Power Poison for any Grass types, Hidden Power Steel for Ice and Rock types, uh, what are the other Hidden Powers I haven't mentioned yet, uh, Hidden Power Grass, I've done that, Hidden Power Fire, done that, did I do Hidden Power Ice? Yeah I think I did. Oh, a Hidden Power Ghost, which will take care of Ghost types as well as fellow Psychic types. Hidden Power Flying, which is super helpful against Fighting, Bug, and Grass types. A Hidden Power Dark Set for any Psychic and Ghost types. And Hidden Power... Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... There's one more. Hidden Power... Oh, Hidden Power Dragon, which is great against uh, Dragon types. So as you can see, Unknown has a set to cover every single type in the game that was introduced in the first two generations. It may not be used pretty much ever in Smogon, but that's mainly because people didn't know how to use it properly. Holding a Twisted Spoon would increase the power of Psychic moves by 10%, along with the stab Hidden Power Psychic is no joke, capable of taking out mons like Tyroke, Machop, Caterpie, and even Jigglypuff. But even more impressive, an unknown with a Hidden Power Dark set, while holding Black Glasses to increase the power of Dark Moves, has a really good chance of 3-hit KOing a Mewtwo. I know that might not sound that impressive, but come on, it's a f***ing Mewtwo. Unfortunately, since pretty much no one used it, it resided in the Never Used tier. But again, that's mainly because people found it too risky to use. On the one hand, you could struggle against the Pokemon of a specific type, but on the other hand, if they're weak to your hidden power, you can completely destroy them. It all depends on what hidden power set you choose, but since the opponent won't know what hidden power type you have at first, it's completely mind games, and by the time they find out what hidden power you're using, it'll be too late. With the third generation coming out, it was almost nothing but upsides for Unknown. 
There are many new Pokemon introduced, but when you have a moveset for every type in the game, new Pokemon don't really matter. The only exception to this was Sableye. Being a dark ghost type meant that before Gen 6, Sableye had absolutely no weaknesses. But Sableye wasn't exactly the most common Pokemon being used. And with every other Pokemon having at least one weakness, Unknown could still put in work, especially with the introduction of abilities. And Unknown just so happened to be graced with the Levitate ability, making it completely immune to ground type attacks. The third gen also introduced the item Choice Band, which increased the user's attack by 50%, meaning that Unknown could really take advantage of the Hidden Power fighting set, dealing massive damage to Pokemon like Snorlax, Tyranitar, Blissey, and even Whismur. The only drawback to the choice band is that it locks the user into the last move it used. But Unknown doesn't give a f When you only get one move, who cares if you're locked into it? Unfortunately, people were still too scared to use Unknown, so it stayed in the end new tier. But things were about to change even more when the fourth generation appeared. Overall, Gen 4 was interesting for Unknown. This gen introduced another Pokemon with no weakness being Spiritomb, having the same typing as Sableye. This was also the generation that introduced the physical special split, and since Hidden Power became special, it meant Unknown's attacks that pretty much became redundant. On the plus side, it meant people were able to put all that focus onto Unknown's special attack. This gen also introduced more choice items, the most important one for Unknown being Choice Specs. It's the same as Choice Band, but affects special attack instead of physical attack. Because in Gen 3 typing determined whether a move was physical or special, Unknown didn't have an item that boosted special attack in the same way that Choice Band did. But now, Unknown was able to get the full 50% boost to any hidden power type. A hidden power ice set with Choice Specs was easily able to Oko Flygon, possibly Garchomp, 2-hit KO Groudon, and easily take out Sunkern. And changing the moveset back to Hidden Power Dark, in combination with Choice Specs, hitting Mewtwo went from a possible 3-hit KO to a possible 2-hit KO. As you can see, Unknown still had the power to take out Pokemon that were considered Uber tier, which is incredible. Unfortunately, again, it remained and never used. People were still scared to use Unknown despite how much it improved and the coverage it had. Gen 5 didn't really change anything for Unknown. The worst thing that happened was yet another Pokemon with no weaknesses was introduced, being Electros. But apart from that, Unknown was still the unpredictable menace it was, capable of all-calling threats like Landorus and Salamence, dealing good damage to Keldeo and Conkeldur, and absolutely destroying Cupchu. Yet again, no one wanted to use it, keeping it in the NU tier, and funnily enough wasn't very popular in VGC either. Although, if Unknown got access to the move Protect, it probably would have made Top Cut at some point. Somewhere. Gen 6, on the other hand, was a huge turning point for Unknown. This gen, as we all know, introduced a new type, being Fairy. And you all know what that means. Hidden Power Fairy. This gave Unknown a whole new type to work with, making it even more unpredictable than before. It also meant that Unknown was finally able to deal with Sableye and Spiritomb, and could easily beat Pokemon like Scrafty, Hydreigon, Gumi, and... What? Huh? What the fuck do you mean there's no Hidden Power Fairy? Well, nothing else really changed. I mean, no one used Unknown in Gen 6, and so what am I supposed to do? Just repeat myself. Fine, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll think of something. Um, let's start this part again. Gen 6 was pretty much the same as Gen 5 for Unknown. Sure, there was a brand new typing introduced, but Hidden Power Fairy didn't become a thing. But Unknown was still capable of dealing with fairies with his Hidden Power Poison and Hidden Power Steel sets. Despite being a great counter to fairies, as well as pretty much every Pokemon, still no one used it in either Smogon or VGC. In fact, it somehow went down from the NU tier to the new lowest tier being PU, which was pretty unreasonable if you ask me. Finally, we come to Generation 7. Yet again, no one used Unknown in either Smogon or VGC, even though it gained a pretty significant buff. You see, this was the generation that introduced Z-Crystals, which means that Unknown was able to take advantage of Normalium Z. This item changed Hidden Power into a base 120 normal special move. It means that Unknown gets access to yet another type, being normal, giving it almost perfect type coverage. So even if it had a Hidden Power type that wasn't very effective against another type, its Z-Move Breakneck Blitz can give you at least neutral damage on the defending type. And since the power of the Z-Move was double that of Hidden Power, it's basically like a super effective move anyway. This made Unknown an absolute monster, and one of the most versatile Pokemon in the entire game. So looking back at how Unknown changed throughout the generations, it really only got better and better. 
It started out as a Pokemon that was able to hit any Pokemon type super effectively. Then it gained an immunity to ground, and then got access to choice specs, and even the normal Z Crystal, giving it an insane amount of move coverage. Sure, it was risky to use, but it's pretty rare to have a Pokemon that covers almost every type combination in the game. So, how good was Unknown actually? Well, Unknown hey, was- Hey, who are you? Oh, shit. What are you uh, doing? Uh, Why are I, you in my office? I, uh, are you using my setup? Who the hell was that? <clears throat> anyway, hey everyone, and welcome to a very highly requested video. How good was Unknown actually? 